I, that's a small excerpt from the uh, Tablet of Providence by Paul Maurice, and uh, <clears throat> happens to be on my classical CD, and I'm trying to remember it here just on the spur of the moment. But, uh, I think it is a good uh, example of clean articulation, what we're trying to get in articulation. It's very tricky articulation. And I, as I teach and make the rounds in schools and so on, I find that there are so many problems with articulation. I thought I'd just mention a few thoughts about it. I am, by the way, uh, Dr. Ray Smith from Brigham Young University in Provo, Utah. I've uh, been watching this cannonball thing ever since it started, and I love these horns. And I know that a lot of there's a lot of word out there on the street about how great they are as jazz horns, but I can tell you they're great classical horns as well. Uh, I just love playing mine. Uh, I'm going to uh, just mention a, a little bit about tonguing. Tongue is a difficult thing to teach because it's an invisible process. Uh, you can't see inside my mouth what I'm doing right now with my tongue. And if I were to try to help you, I wouldn't be able to say it in your mouth, and it's just a hard thing to, to talk about. But I'm going to try to externalize a couple of things here about tonguing that I think will help you, if you're, especially if you're struggling with any tonguing issues. So let me just illustrate. If I'm tonguing some slower notes, that's one type of tonguing. Here's a type of tonguing I often hear when I go out and hear students play. It sounds to me like it has a piece of junk in the front of every note. You put that on a scale. It's not clean. There's the other tongue. So <clears throat> let me show let me show you what the difference is there. And it really has to do with what part of your tongue touches what part of the reed. And the principle here is that we should touch as little reed with as little tongue as humanly possible. And so to, to, in order to do that, it's best if I tongue tip to tip, the tip of my tongue. And when I say tip, I'm talking about the very edge of the tongue, on the very edge of the reed, the tip of the tongue to the tip of the reed. I'm going to play a few notes and then pull my tongue out as if, uh, so you can see what I've been doing. Versus... Now you see I'm touching too much of the tongue, of the reed with the tongue. Versus. So if you can work on this, this will help you tremendously in the clarity of your tongue. Tip to tip tongue. Uh, just tongue again, the principle tongue is a little, touch as little reed with as little tongue as possible. Uh, there is another uh, issue with this, and that's how the tongue moves. Again, you can't see this, so I. I may externalize it with my fingers. Is my tongue moving to the reed this way, or is it moving this way? I call this back and forth motion, this up and down motion. You may have your tongue arched a little bit, in which case it may feel almost like it's more back and forth when you're going up, what I call up and down. It may seem like it's more back and forth in this position, but it isn't the whole tongue moving like this. And if I move the whole tongue, I'm going to have difficulty touching the tip the way I've just described. Uh, if I, for, uh, here, here's something you could use to, to see if you're doing this. Look in the mirror, watch your throat. If I deliberately move the tongue way too much, watch what's happening here. Going back and forth, you can see movement in my throat. Now, if I move only a little bit too much, it's going back and forth a little bit and up and down, kind of a combination, almost like this, the movement will move up in here. Perhaps you can see that. Hopefully you can see that. If I move correctly, there's actually no movement in the throat coordinated to the tongue. And so I have to work on both aspects, tip to tip tonguing, up and down tonguing. And uh, those are a couple of little known keys, I think, that really will help the clarity of your tonguing. And if you're playing a lot of jazz, you particularly need that legato. <laughs> got to have that uh, that same kind of action. I don't want that ta -ta, uh, that clunky kind of tonguing that I described a minute ago. So, uh, just a small tip, but I hope that helps. Uh, hopefully, that'll help you. Tip to tip tonguing, up and down tonguing. Uh, and, and I might throw a, a word of caution here. I would avoid uh, what's called anchor tonguing. 
Anchor tongue is when I put the tip of the tongue down behind the bottom teeth and anchor it there. And then I'm tonguing back here. There are some players that do that actually quite well, but I, I found so much difficulty in, in achieving success with that that I would really encourage you not to get into that habit if you can avoid it. Tip to tip will make, make the difference. So. Have a good Saxon one day.